Okay, what we're going to do here is we're going to look at GeoGebra to examine the conic, the hyperbola. And a hyperbola, let me draw it for you, looks something like this. There's a typical hyperbolic shape. What I'd like to do is I'd like to show you how to use GeoGebra to construct this, and in doing so we'll have a look at one of its properties. So the property of a hyperbola, and we're going to construct it using that property, goes something like this. If we take a two foci, then if we're on a hyperbola, what we will notice, let's take a point on a hyperbola, is we will notice that the distance from one of the foci and distance to the other foci, we'll notice they've got a difference. Now, as we start moving along the hyperbola, what we will notice is that that difference remains constant. And it's going to be this property that we will use this constant difference of the distance to the foci to construct and draw. So let's go back to GeoGebra and use that idea. Get rid of the ready-made one there and first thing, two points, those are going to be our foci. Then what we will do is put a slider on the screen and this first slider I think is going to be our difference to send should be fine. So for example in the example that I just talked about we could have a difference of four. A second slider and this is going to be the distance from foci A what, to 25. So for example I could be I could be 10 away from A and to find those points a circle with center, A and radius A, there we go. And from point B, well, I could be either 6 or 14, a difference of 4 away from 10. So I'll need two circles here. One I think will be A plus the difference of 4 in this case, and the second circle, once again, centred on B, be A minus the difference. And that will give me a set of intersections which hopefully have the property that we are looking for. Just to verify that property, I will just put in these segments to my points. And now I will have a look. I'll just change some of the object properties, get rid of the labels on the points, the segments. I would like to see their values as their labels. And in fact, I'll just make those a little bit more prominent. I think my circles, I will fade into the background a little bit. And it's these points there that I'm interested in. Let me just make those a little bit more prominent. Of course, on my segments, let me have a look. I will need, yes, I've got my values. There we go. Let's have a look at those now. Okay. Very good. What I should notice is I should notice that 13 and 9, there we go, difference of 4. And these ones here, I've got 17, this long one, 13 difference of 4, perfect. And last but not least, all I need to do is track these points. So object properties again. So for my intersection points, I will show a trace. When I do, there we go, what I will see is my hyperbolic shape traced out. Very good. And of course you can then play around with this a little bit. Let me put my foci a little closer together, perhaps decrease my difference a little, and then have a look to see what that does to my 
shape. There we go. That is the go another hyperbolic shape traced out. So there we go, a hyperbola using the property that the distances from points to the two foci will have a conf constant difference of well, a constant difference. And there we go, GeoGebra looking at the properties of the hyperbola.